All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to this video. I got a new pair of boots recently and I felt like they deserved their own video. At least like a first impressions kind of video. So I break them in, I feel like I'll do like an update in the future. But yeah, these are boots I've been looking at for a little while now. I'd seen them a few months ago in more of like a white color and like a brown color. But they were super sweet already when I saw them in those colors. But I was kind of iffy on those and uh, I was hoping at some point there would be a black one. But yeah, I scooped them up and I'm super stoked on how they look. And so far, I really like how they feel and how well they work with like a lot of the pairs of pants that I wear. But um, yeah, definitely this is more like a first impressions kind of thing. I haven't worn them for too long yet, but I felt like I wanted to share these just because they're super sweet. All right, um, let's get right into it then. These are the Heartbreaker boots, and um, these are made by Santa Rosa brand um, out of Texas for uh, snake oil provisions, which is like a store here in Los Angeles. So like I said earlier, I've been looking at this uh, style of boot for a little bit. I had seen the brown color and the white color. I'll throw photos of up here. I was super stoked on the white pair, but at the same time I was like, I don't know if I would be down to wear those as often as I would like a black pair. And uh, I had just been snooping around their website a little bit last week and I saw that there was a black pair that was coming out. And uh, I actually hit them with like an Instagram DM and I was like, when are these gonna come out? And uh, I think they might have said the next day. So then I went in store and I tried them on and um, like the UPS guy dropped them off and I got them there. And I think at that time, um, like most of the sizes already sold out. So I got really lucky that there was still a 12 in stock because I think all of them had sold already online. And yeah, if we just get into some of the aspects of the boot, this is a cowhide upper um, that's made to look like a snakeskin. And then on the inside, we see that just lined with like a really soft and smooth leather. This is a one and a half inch heel. Um, so that makes me like kind of ridiculously tall when I'm wearing them. But uh, I kind of like how this heel looks. Definitely complements the boot a lot. Then we also got like a YKK zipper that uh, runs on the inside. Makes it super easy to put on and it's a super solid uh, zipper. But yeah, definitely, um, this was like the first day I was able to wear them for an extended period of time. After a few hours and like 30 minutes of walking, I could see that these are breaking in really nicely. Definitely once you start putting them on right out the box, they're a little bit stiff, just as most boots are along the uh, upper area. I'd say once you've been wearing them for 25, 30 minutes, your foot kind of warms up, the leather kind of warms up and you kind of start stretching it out. I was definitely getting a lot more comfortable um, pretty quickly. And these are like a nine and a half inch shaft. So uh, this is nine and a half inches. I have a pair of Red Wings that I'll show here. And these are uh, an old pair of Red Wing Pecos. Um, they don't really make this model anymore. This is like an 11 inch shaft um, So you can see that it's just slightly taller than the boot on the right than the snake oil boot But yeah, I'm planning on uh, beating these up for a little bit and then I'll come in with an update once I've worn these a lot more Anyways, that should have been a quick one um, This is mainly just for people that are into boots and kind of want a taste of uh, some different styles of boots and uh, different brands. Also, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And uh, if you wanna keep seeing videos from me, make sure to subscribe. And also, if you guys have any video ideas that you guys wanna see, just leave them in the comments and I'll kind of take those into consideration. But yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll get to those 